Hello, this video is detailing the functions of the SCC20 up-down timer on tripod. Uh, it has a clock in 24-hour mode or 12-hour mode, a one-hundredth of a second stopwatch, an up-timer or a down-timer from 99 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds, or you can put it into the mode of interval timer. You can see the tripod that it's standing on, which uh, we'll make it sort of up to two meters tall and it plugs into a normal power outlet, uh, 12 volt uh, power, so it's uh, low voltage. The, um, <clears throat> the timer is easy to, um, to change from one uh, function to the other using the handheld remote control, which I'll show you in front there. Um, <clears throat> very simply, there's an on off switch, which you can switch the unit on and off. The the um, display. Uh, the clock display which you can see now shows hours, minutes and seconds and it can be put into a 12 or a 24 hour format. Uh, you can have an up timer, uh, you can have a down timer uh, or you can have one hundredth of a second stopwatch. Uh, the other timer that I'm going to focus on now is the interval timer which is simply push the interval button uh, now, that interval button, if you push <coughs> the interval key, uh, displays um, the last interval that was entered into the machine. If you push edit, that shows the um, to set the repeating rounds. So I want to set my repeating rounds to three, uh, zero and four. That will give us four rounds. I push the edit button again. Now this is setting the uh, workout time for each round. So if I put it in zero, zero minutes and zero, five seconds for each round, push edit. Uh, now this will be the, um, the rest times to be set now. So if I put in zero, 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 eight seconds for rest, push the edit button again, we're set. So now the interval timer is set to go for four rounds of five seconds with an eight second rest in between. So if we just push OK, it will count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. There'll be a beep in the last three seconds. Now the timer is doing the, the lights are flashing saying it's working. That was the working time. Now this is the rest time. The two colons stay lit. Now we're back to five minutes counting down of working time and we're on the second period. Now we're on the counting down the rest period, which the colons stay solid. And we go into the third period. Three, two, one. Back to the eight second rest period. You can as you can see, just push the OK button in the middle and you can pause it at any time. I'll push the OK button again, which starts the timing process again. One, zero. Now we're back to the final working time. Five, four, two, one. Back to the last rest period. Four, three, two, one. And that's the completion of the uh, of the timing process. Um, it's a very accurate unit and uh, you can set the uh, interval timer to have as many um, you can set it to have as many of those intervals up to 99 intervals um, so as long as they're the same period um, you can set those up. I hope that's helpful as far as seeing the uh, functions of the interval timer. Um, any other questions you can just call me on 024861 7265 or you can go to www.sydneyclockco.com.au. Thank you.